Hello, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I am going to show you the Raycaster utility. Now, the Raycaster utility you find in the accessories here, and it's a utility meaning it's uh, free of charge. Uh, you can use it any way you like. Uh, it's just a very useful tool in different situations because what it does, it casts one ray from this one down to this. Um, surface here if I have parented or linked in 3ds max you link this one to the ground so like this you might just parent it with P there bang then it becomes a child of the ground meaning this simulator uh, this raycast uh, raycast uh, tool here knows what it's supposed to hit rays uh, check the ray um, penetration on now there are two different parameters here. Uh, the, the first one is just a checkbox and it says ray align ray hit so this is the ray hit node here and this is the ray origin and the pivot here as you see that's where the the ray actually origins from and points in this direction and wherever it hits on the surface this one will be at that point so also it will have the same um, normal as the surface has there now it's a little bit dumb here since it's this a plane let's actually create a sphere instead like that move it downwards okay so I have to link it to that one bang P there and uh, as soon as I hit record here you see that uh, this little fellow here will automatically uh, find itself to the the sphere surface here if I move this this rotate so the ray hits an, at another position here as you see bam, right there then it will move along this sphere surface until it reaches the end where it doesn't hit it anymore then it will just swim into infinity there uh, but otherwise it just follows this sphere surface here now this can be useful in many 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 different situations obviously uh, and uh, to make it not fly into infinity you simply take this max distance value here so you have one two three four five that's five so let's limit this to say four units I guess this here is one two three or something and uh, as soon as it comes out of the uh, uh, if, if it if this ray hit here is more than four units away from this uh, ray origin here then uh, it should not uh, follow the surface anymore so let's try that okay I Turn this one, turn, 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 and soon it will come to four. Uh, there we go. And as you see here, it doesn't. Nothing happens. And as soon as we come to the surface there, bang, it starts following it again. And uh, if I simply don't want to care about the the actual direction on the surface I can simply uncheck this one and then it will just align itself to the the ray origin here like that so see bang and it goes around like this so using multiple ray casters uh, you could actually use this for example for uh, tire bulging or whatever that you would like to 
uh, let's say you have a tire here and this is in the center of the tire rotating with the tire and as soon as you hit the ground here you would have some say uh, if you use a a, a uh, nerve surface then you could bind the CV points uh, group them and then uh, have this one pull the whole the whole uh, CV surface towards uh, so that it follows the surface when it uh, dries uh, on it automatically so that would be one very good use for this one um, um, and I'm sure you can find a million more uh, really useful things to do with this one and uh, I would recommend you to not record this but to just hit re-simulate when you, when you want to uh, animate this especially if you have large uh, large surfaces with many polygons then it would probably take all your power and you would have to go take a coffee during the the simulation part here uh, well that's all I'm going to say about this Raycaster and thank you very much